evening and welcome just behind me the AMRI hospital in Dhakuria, which has seen so much tragedy in the last cup of last almost one day now 3 a.m. is when it happened we are now told that more than 80 people in fact more than 85 people have lost their lives now the big question that so many people are asking just what went wrong my colleague Alok Pandey is at the SSKM hospital that's uh, close by that's where a lot of the bodies uh, from this hospital were actually moved to before I come to Alok I just want to show you the scene behind me as you can see even now so many hours later on Hundreds of people milling around this entire area. Lots of fire personnel deployed over here. There is no fire over here. There is no smoke. But there is always that concern of a fire flashing up again. And that's something that fire authorities over here are looking at very, very closely. Now, for the first time, speaking exclusively to NDTV, just a few minutes back, the senior vice president projects of the AMRI hospital explained to us their side of what went wrong. Now, as, as a lot of our viewers who've been following the story would know, the license of this particular hospital has been revoked. Now, it's still unclear whether the license of the entire AMRI group of hospitals has been revoked or not. But what they're trying to say is that their doctors, their nurses, their ward boys did, in fact, uh, try and help a lot of patients try and get out of the intensive care units. Three of their own personnel were also killed in this. Well, what exactly did Dr. Upadhyay say? Let's listen in. Well, it's been a day in which the news of this terrible tragedy in the hospital in Kolkata has certainly struck a chord with people, not just in the city, but across the country. The big question that everyone is asking, just what went wrong? Joining us now for a perspective which really hasn't been covered at all through the day, Dr. S. Upadhyay, he's the senior vice president with AMRI at uh, the Dhakuria branch. Dr. Upadhyay, thank you very much for speaking to us. What, what went wrong, doctor? Uh, at the very onset, I must say that we are very shocked and we are greatly grieved by this incident, this accident, in fact. Uh, in the early morning today, uh, there was a fire in our basement, and that uh, fire, uh, we, in, everything was done for the fire that we informed the uh, police, informed the fire brigade, we informed the uh, local administrations. So they all came in, they tried to uh, tried help us to put down the fire, but at the same time, uh, we, I am very deeply shocked and deeply grieved to say that there was casualties, and the casualties quite a big, good number. That is 70 uh, patients who were there. Uh, 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 but uh, uh, there were casualties 70, and then we have got we have lost our four staffs. But at the same time, uh, we have rescued uh, 94 patients uh, with the help of our staff and the local authority and the local residents and they are all doing well. Was there any delay in the fire services reaching? Uh, there was uh, not delay in fire services reaching, but in the sense there was, the road was narrow, so they negotiated the fire tenders and all that, the, and smoke was the biggest hindrance for the rescue operation. And uh, how much time before the fire brigade was actually in the building with their hoses? Uh, they came uh, exactly, we cannot tell the time, but they you know, came in a reasonable time and uh, they within started. Within two hours, within an hour? No, less than that, less okay. than that, less than that, uh, within an hour. Uh, and they uh, did all the things they could do and it, putting out the fire. Now, the patients that uh, succumbed to, to, to the... All right, Dr. Upadhyay, there, uh, there's a lot more in that interview that we will play out to you. Now, a couple of important points that they were trying to mention over there. As far as this hospital is concerned, uh, and contradicting reports that none of their doctors, none of their uh, nurses, ward boys did anything to help patients, they're saying that three of their own staff members were killed in all of this, that they tried their best to get people out. The other important point that the hospital is making is that they have a valid NOC, a no objection certificate from the Calcutta Fire Department. This NOC was issued less than a year back because NOCs are issued every year. Now, I asked specific questions about the number of fire exits, and the answer that was given is that the requisite number of fire exits do exist. So they feel that they are not in contravention of anything. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free NDTV.com slash apps.